Interior design is such a big part of creating a dream home. We've come to Jonathan Alexander to meet Sally Forbes Watson to discover how she turns those dreams into a reality. Sally, hi. Hi. So, why do you think people use an interior designer? Well, I think they, people have different reasons. Some don't feel confident necessarily enough to get it right themselves. Some people feel that they may be wasting money if they do it themselves. Um, and some people don't have the time. It's obviously time consuming, particularly if you're in Guernsey, mm. you've got to go off island. They usually also would do one item at a time. If they do one okay. item at a time, the whole process takes forever. Okay. If you go to a designer, you've got the whole scheme of the room or the scheme of the house or whatever it is that you're doing. Together at one time, all the orders are placed together so everything arrives together. And you guarantee that you've got the result that you want right the way through the space that you're doing. Do you think people can be scared of using an interior designer? Yes, I think there's an element of that. Um, not so much now, I think that's possibly more in the past because mm -hmm. people are used to them. But there is an element of people being concerned that um, a designer will overspend on their behalf mm -hmm. um, or indeed go into their home and turn their nose up at what they've got. But I don't think that's relevant now. But it's, I think probably 10, 20 years ago it was certainly an issue. But people e expect decorators and designers now. Are there any trends that reoccur? There's always trends in fabrics, I think. Okay. Um, there's certainly trends in longevity that people expect furniture to last. Yes. And there used to be a disposable. Perhaps five, ten years ago, people viewed certain aspects, certain parts of furnishing as disposable. Whereas in the old days, everybody wanted everything to last forever. Mm -hmm. But now there's somewhere in between, I think. Um, modern and traditional vary in their own way in that respect. But um, fabrics and window dressing, those sort of things, are very much on trend in terms, just like fashion would be. Okay. So colours, types of fabrics used absolutely as just like the fashion industry. Is there a particular aspect of it that you enjoy more than others? Um, no, I, I, I like love it scheme. all really. I love it yeah. all really, yes. And but seeing everything certainly, pieced together. Exactly. Mm. But certainly clients do. Some clients love fabrics, some mm -hmm. clients love joinery. Yeah. So they will usually have an area that they find particularly interesting. So now we've had an insight into what you can do, let's go and have a look at a house that you've designed the interiors of. So here we are at this beautiful house. What do you think makes a good interior designer? Well, I think colour, texture and proportion, understanding those things are a prerequisite. Um, the most important thing of all is to understand the client's brief. The client's lifestyle to a degree is mm -hmm. really, really important. In here, for instance, there used to be an old traditional kitchen, great big square island in the middle, and they wanted it to be clean, crisp, modern, but not too modern, but they wanted to keep it soft, to keep it a family kitchen, so that we go with the timber floor rather than a hard floor, and to keep it warm and livable and to be used all the time. So presumably you don't have to change everything about a property, you could just use you know, existing fixtures and fittings. Yes, absolutely. In the kitchen we did change everything. The outside doors, the folding doors, the flooring, lighting, coving, everything. Here in the hall, the floor was here, we kept that, we did the lighting and all the furnishings that you can see. Great, well let's go and see more. This is a lovely room, Sally. So what was your brief in here? Well, this is a, although it's a family house, this room was specifically designed to be a quiet room. A quiet room away from children, a place to sit, listen to music. Mm -hmm. There's no TV in here. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely escape from family life. It feels very calming. <laughs> so it must be just as important for you to design a home around the family needs as well as create something like this room. The, the family needs is what you're doing, really. You're designing mm -hmm. it for them. Yeah and looking as good as it can be. Mm. Well, Sally, I just want to thank you for, um, for giving us a, an insight into what you do and, and allowing us to explore this lovely home. Thank you very much.